Yeah, I said, I can't let it die. We have to save it. Yeah. The woman who called second says she actually has a snake and trapped in a mouse trap. I don't really know how these things work. I'm headed to a call in Scottsdale. A lady has a snake stuck to a sticky trap in the garage. She's not sure what kind of snake it is. Either way, I'm gonna go and save this snake. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm not gonna look at this snake. Okay, so, no worries. Um, you can either come through the house or, yeah, that's fine. Okay. But it may be a rattler, Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. No. Okay, so it's a night snake, so it's harmless. Oh, it's not a rattle? Not a rattle. So you always want to look um, at the tail here. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you see pointy tail, you know it's safe. But oh. you guys can always send us pictures just in case if, you know, since you're oh, okay. going to be messing with it. Okay. Okay. So okay. to save it, um, I'll ask her for some oil. Oh, I have some. We, oh, you do? Oh, some okay, there. cool. Yeah. We'll do it on the rocks over okay, here. Okay, that's good. If no, you can we get... didn't have vegetable, it's canola oil. Oh, that's okay. fine. And then just like a piece of paper towel. Okay. Thank you. All right, buddy, we'll get you off. And she's nice. She wanted to save you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's happy it's not a rattlesnake. <laughs> yeah. What kind did you say about? It's called a, a night snake. A night snake? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. That's so cool. I'm glad you want to help. I was going to go do I said, I can't let it die. It's got. It's full of life. When I went to go get the yeah. board, and I said, we have to save it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy to and hear it. And I don't that. want to be starved to death and sit on the board. For no, it days. would just die. Yeah. It yeah, would. It so would. Bad. It's never. Yeah. It would never get off on its own. These boards are just so sticky. So we take I'm a little gonna, oil. So you just pour a little. Try not to get it in its face, but if you do, if you have to, that's fine too. It's not going to hurt it. So this just like deactivates the glue. So you can do this with lizards, anything you want to get off. You just, you just kind of like rub it under and like, just like rub it through the glue and its skin. And it just, it kind of eventually just kind of comes off. That's an adult? They're small, what? yeah. Yep, they can get no a little way. bigger, but he is a adult, yeah. And then we just take a little paper okay. towel mm -hmm. and just shimmy him up. And then he should be good to go. Now, where do you let him go at? Um, I'll just take him away from the homes and just put him, yeah. yeah. They're just, they eat lizards and scorpions and spiders and just like stuff like that. Like they, they're totally hot. He's so grown. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they're small snakes. They usually, they're they're one of the ones that usually always get stuck in those corner traps in the garage just because they kind of can fit through the, yeah, the side the there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So, you want to hold them? Or anything? Um, they, they, I've never had okay, them. I'm gonna try to bite. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now what do I do? <laughs> you don't have to squeeze. Oh, there you go. He's just chilling. <laughs> Here, he's cool, yeah. huh? Oh, see that tongue? Yeah, he's just oh, smelling. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Look at you. He's so happy right now. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how long he's been on there, but probably yeah. not more than it. Maybe. Probably, a, yeah. Maybe this morning, day. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. So it's, he's yeah. lucky you saw him. She saved you. Uh, I'm glad you came out. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, thank you for caring so much. Yeah, is this so happy. Bye, Bye, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what else is common out here? Uh, gopher snakes, king snakes. Yeah, we get all sorts of calls, but yeah, a lot of rattlesnakes. <laughs> Alright, so we got this little night snake here. It's doing great. It didn't get injured on the trap at all. Thankfully, we were able to save it. Look at that cute little snake. I'm just gonna put it in here so it can stay out of the sun for the day. Alright, little one. You have a good life. See you, little bud. That was an awesome call. Karina was amazing. Nothing makes me happier than someone that is afraid of snakes wanting to save it and she helped me out. She was the true hero. Uh, Karina, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Another great call. What is up everybody? This is Nick from down in Tucson. Uh, sort of an interesting situation. I actually have two calls right now that are both from the same neighborhood. So. Uh, the gentleman who called first says he has a snake in his yard, and the uh, the woman who called second says she actually has a snake that's stuck in her garage and trapped in a mouse trap. So I am going to run those calls simultaneously, and then hopefully we can relocate the snakes to the same exact spot afterwards. 
uh, because it all is just the same area. And uh, you can't do that very often, but when it does happen, it is cool uh, because you want to get to these houses as fast as possible. Any, anytime someone calls, you just want to rush over there and you know get the snake before a bad situation occurs. And uh, in this case, I will be able to hit those two houses back to back. And hopefully both these snakes are good. I'm a little worried about the one in the trap uh, because snakes can get injured that way. But uh, either way, I'm gonna drive across town. I got a bit of a drive here and then we're gonna hit those two houses and see what's happening with these snakes. So let's do it. Hello? Yep, yeah, back here. How you doing, man? All right, where is he at? Right there. Against the wall. Yep, oh, yep. Coiled up. Did you find him or the dog or? I came to get the dog and I saw him yeah. moving around back here. So. Perfect. Looks like a little female. All right, you want to see it or? Good? You can come take a picture. Once they're in the bucket, you know, and get a good look at them. <laughs> you get a lot of snakes, or? Um, we have a king snake that has been back here for. Oh yeah. A long time, yeah. I've seen it. Pretty big one, or? Yeah, yeah. Probably could eat that guy. <laughs> the same one for. Well, I just picked up the first snake, quick and easy, and according to Google Maps, I am two minutes from this house, so I'm gonna go head over there, and uh, hopefully this snake is in good condition. I'm a little worried, because she said it was trapped, and she said it's been getting tangled up in some other stuff, but I'm gonna rush on over there, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to figure out what's going on, so. Yeah, you can plug that thing in, and there's a light switch there. Okay. I'm just not gonna, I'm going in now. Okay, no worries. Okay. No, tangled up, buddy. Alright. Let's see what we got here. I need to get the snake out in the open. This is a whole whole ordeal. I don't really know how these things work, but there you go. All right, got that guy free. He's been pinched a little bit, but get him in the bucket. You're getting a roommate. All right. oh, oh, oh. I don't want to grab this snake right on that part that got pinched, but all right. Happy campers. All right. Well, that went about as uh, as well as I could have expected or hoped because uh, that snake is up and alert. It looks like the tail got pinched a little bit, but I mean, snakes are really tough, and I've seen them recover from getting hit by cars and you know shovels and rocks being thrown at them, and even other mouse traps as well. And I, I think that snake's going to be all right. Uh, so right now, I have two snakes in the bucket. I'm sure you can hear it. And I'm gonna go find a spot to release them where I can release them both into separate nests, but probably in the same area because I have a feeling the snake's uh, home ranges overlap quite a bit. So uh, I'm gonna go do that right now and uh, hopefully we can get these snakes back out in the desert where they're not gonna get pinched or end up in yards or anything like that, so. Okay, right, well I found this awesome wash, a ton of Nice, big, deep Kawichi Caves, which is just the perfect place to release some snakes. Uh, there's a bunch of them, so I'm going to release one of these snakes in this hole, and then I'm going to hike down a little bit more and find another hole, but make sure there's no bees if you're from Arizona. I think you know something about the bees. All right. Oh. I think I'm going to release... It's a male who had his tail pinched first. Because he seems to be a bit more excitable. This is understandable. Oh. Really don't want to pinch you on your, on your sore spot there, does he? Alright. Oh. 
off he went. It took no time for that. Now we have this little female, which I'm going to hike to a better spot further down the wash. Get this little female into this nice caliche cave rodent burrow. She's gonna find her way back in there. Perfect. All right. Well, uh, a couple of calls, a uh, double call, I guess, in the books. And I've been running calls since this morning. It is 10.30, so I'm about ready to go home and hope I can get in bed, but probably not. I'll probably get another call, so. All right, guys, catch you on the next one.